CG Thinker, welcome. The Fluent Grid is one of the most appreciated features in the add-on. Fluent 110 allows new possibilities of manipulation and the grid interface was reworked. Today, I share with you all you need to know about it. Let's go. When you call a cut function, you can display the grid with a right click on an object face. Like you can see, the green menu show up, but before to examine it, take some seconds to look the currently screen. You can notice three things. First, black dots. The count and space between them can be changed uh, with the resolution button. Second, white dots. They are face vertices used to draw the grid. And third, the white cross. It's the pivot point of the grid. OK, now we can look the menu. The resolution changes the black dot density. OK, it's very simple. Rotation X, Y or Z button do a rotation of the grid. To use it, press and hold the left click and move the mouse horizontally. Scale button changes the size of the grid. Take 30 seconds to look some examples of use. Extend grid, an interesting function, two cases to understand it. By default, Fluent uses all vertices in a same plane to draw the grid. This is the base case to understand it. Like I said, by default, Fluent grid uses all coplanar vertices. If you press on Extend grid, the grid is calculated only with vertices of the current face. Click again on Extend and you come back to the previous state. Just one more case to understand the function. When you make a cut, Blender adds edges and so it splits the unique face to multiple faces. By default, Fluent uses all coplanar vertices to draw the grid. Click on Extend and it uses only vertices of face. Click again on Extend to come back to the previous state. OK, you know how to use the useful Fluent Grid. Trade yourself with it. If you don't want to miss next video about Blender, about Fluent, tutorial, tips, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and yes, see you soon. Bye bye.